stop for a moment here and thank every woman that's tuning in tonight. And listen, do I have the perfect guest for you tonight? Uh, this is Woman to Woman with your guest, host, uh, not guest, but host, uh, Vernon DuPont. Some call me prophetess, some call me apostle, and then some just call me Vernon. But welcome. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Listen, I think we're going to have a great time when it comes to women talking together and sharing, just sharing and talking about their, their struggles, their victories, their challenges, but yet, look, succeeding and moving forward. It's nothing like women getting together. There's a strength in women that, listen, you, you, you just can't, you can't fathom it. It's just, there's a strength in women. So again, let me thank you so much for being a part of our very first Woman to Woman. Now, Woman to Woman is found on Solomon's 8 and 8 that says, we have a little sister. And I'm reading from the comp, uh, 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 English version. I don't know why people start trying to call you when you're doing something. They know all day long you were going to be on here. Now, we're going to be real and wrong, okay? So don't expect me to be all bougie and stuff. That's just not going to happen. But um, contemporary e English version I'm reading from, that says, we have a little sister whose breasts are not yet formed. Okay, sounds like deformity, right? And it says, if someone asks to marry her, what shall we do? Listen, I can't wait to ask different women from all over the world this question and how they feel about this particular scripture. And tonight, do I have a guest for you? And I'm, we're waiting on her right now to come into the platform so that we can talk but uh, those of you women that are here, I want to give a few shout outs to some of my, uh, my besties, some women that really stick to me. Lady Nicole, I want to say thank you, thank you. And I can't wait to have you and my, uh, listen, my good, good friend, uh, Pastor Alicia Ramsley. And then Patience, I see you. God just bless you. But I, I think our guest is here now, and what I'd like to do is just invite her in, and we start this conversation, okay? Because tonight it's going to be good. So why don't you uh, text a few of your friends, send a link to some of your friends. There she is, there she is. Sarah, 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 how are you? Listen. I would I would to fight you. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am here. I'm here. I'm here. Say yes. that again to me. I said, I said, I can't hear you. Yes, yeah, I hear you. Yes, I think they hear you. If you all here, put some thumbs up in the chat. Sarah, before we get started, um, talk to me here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to look like a Colombian, like a mafia. Like 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 <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> it has started already. We're listen, ladies, you. Sarah, a mob boss. Uh, is that, is I think it's hard to start it. Uh huh. I like I had to have somebody started. Start it. Oh, you had somebody yeah, down yeah. this way do it for you. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. 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 Does that mean we get to legally take somebody out? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very easy. <laughs> Between me and you, and you oh, we can oh, get it done. Oh, we can get the deal. deal. We can get the job done. Okay, now I want to first thank you so much for being my very first uh, guest on, on um, Woman to Woman. And I, ladies, you're going to have a blast tonight. Listen, it's, it's just going to be a blast. Now, you know, sorry, you and I go back uh, quite a few years. And I, I don't, I'm not talking one or two, yeah, yeah. quite a few years, okay? And, um, you know, we've been around the block together. You know, we've talked about some very interesting subjects together. So uh, that's going to happen tonight. So, sorry, let me first start by saying that you were born in Kingston, Jamaican. So, guess what, Mom? We have a stuff of real Jamaican woman here. Okay? And um, you wait. You just wait. <laughs> what were you saying? What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Turn, turn, the, turn the pipe off. You said what? Not what? 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 Anyway, I love the food. I love the food. Okay? And she, listen, this woman has a lot under her belt now. She's earned a BA in Biblical Studies from Trinity Theological Seminar. 
of South Florida, and she's always in South Florida, okay? And a master's in Christian education with emphasis on biblical culture from Jacksonville. I told you, always in Florida, okay? Theological seminary. In addition, Sara is a certified Christian counselor, and that's why I said we've been around the block, because I, I, listen, I've had to sit under her counsel on numerous times, okay? And with the International Institute for Faith-Based Counseling, Sara is also an author of Warfare 101, and then the, the book that I always tease about the space between. Yeah, the space between. So many things go over in my mind that I need to renew <laughs> in that area. And then she has several devotions. She's a contributing writer for MICI Magazine uh, in Australia and B3 Caribbean Magazine. She is also a frequent guest on Victoria Osteen's radio show. I feel privileged saying that, just to say Victoria Osteen. Listen, and she has appeared numerous of times on Trinity Broadcasting Network and Get Up with um, Erica Radio Show with Erica Campbell. This woman has so much under her belt. She has been through so much, and she's still, listen, thriving and making it. And uh, Sarah has so much to offer us, and I believe that she speaks to the heart of women across the globe, not just in South Florida or in Texas, but across the globe. She goes everywhere. Listen, she knows no bounds, okay? And I know, like I said, she's spoken uh, to me on numerous occasions and she's used her platform to rally other women and to bring women together. And she's also taught women and still is teaching them how to stay their course. Last year, I was under her tutelage for a while. And she, listen, she had to bring me back over to where I belong. And she also uses her platform to increase our commitments in our lives and serve where we are planted. She's big on church because at one point she was a co-pastor as well. We want to dive into that tonight and see um, what she can also um, enlighten us with when it comes to standing through vision and being a co-pastor as well. I mean, she just has so much to offer. But Sarah, what I want to do right now is let you tell the people who Sarah is. Um, um, I think when you're going, going, going on, on it's, it's just, just, just I was supposed to label, label, label it the one, one word, word. Mm -hmm. it would be generous. generous. Okay. So, so <coughs> generous, generous whether, whether that is that is fire, body, body, gen, gen, whether that's, whether that's motivating, motivating gen, gen, physically, physically being present, being present somebody, 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 present. It's just, just having, having a, a um, spirit, um, spirit of, generosity. of generosity, and there's, and a, there's difference. a difference. No, no. Well, you can, you can even not be generous, but you can't, you can't be generous, generous not give. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Sometimes you can you give, give, want people to see you give, because you get to get a trip, trip off of people, people praising praise your name, name, knowing, knowing what you've done. done. And generosity, and generosity happens, happens in every area of area life. life. It doesn't just it doesn't happen in ears or in those ears where no one is facing you. And so, and so I just, I just think, think that when, when I, I think of myself, myself that who I am who I am and who I am to be is, is just, just making sure generous, generous in every season, every season and in every, season, and in every, every position, position and place, place that I'm in. More than anything, more than anything is, I think generosity is the antidote to greed. And so, and so I just, I just would want to be more generous than anything. So that's what I would grab to be really Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, one more. Go ahead, go ahead. So, so, do you have a little tea there? You got a little tea? I have to have water. water. You need tea for tea. Tea for tea. Now, uh, Sarah's fighting something, but like we said, she's victorious. She yeah, always yeah. bounces back because this woman is just resilient. Now, now, Sarah, you're you're doing real estate as well, right? She's a realtor. She's yeah, yeah. Real estate. Go ahead. Go. License, not, not actually, actually a realtor. realtor. Uh -huh. so, 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 uh, <laughs> okay. I got my real estate so that I could get paid. So that I have to drive, drive down and down. Say that I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to drive, drive down and down in the heat. heat. Mm -hmm. You know, you know and so and so I just don't want to do that. But I want to make money in. So when you own your own real estate license, and you can trade and, 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 or down, down payment. 
Are you here? Are you here? Are you able to hear? Is that us? She's breaking up. No, I'm breaking up. It's, it's her connection. Your connection. My, my connection. It's almost like every other word. Oh, really? Oh, really? Hmm. All right. All right. <coughs> I'm not I sure. You need a little tea. A little tea for tea. This is where we do all our calls. And I was trying to, um, I was really trying to get it through, but it would not, it would only come through my phone. Like getting the permissions would only come through my phone on this. So I was trying to see if there was a different way to do it and it wouldn't do it. But let me think, uh, are you still, am I still breaking up? No, you sound good now. Does she oh, sound good? Well, we just, we'll just go with the flow. Talk to me. Okay. Go with the flow, Sarah. Go. Because I get to talk to my computer. But anyhow, yeah, I went and did my real estate license so that I could invest. And just having your real estate license gives you the opportunity to trade your commissions for down payments. So instead of you having to come up with your money, what you would have earned in there, you can just trade it in. So that's one way to save. Um, um, if you want to invest. So, so yeah, I got my real estate, estate license, license and it helped me to buy the house that I'm in um, um, because when I had divorced, divorced I had I lost, lost my job, job. I'd lost everything and, and I didn't, I didn't have, have no job, job so, so I needed a house, house but how do you get a house with no job? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> there is a way. <laughs> and you proved that way. There's, there's, <laughs> all, all, all right. <laughs> Way to get you a house with no job. You just have to be smart about it and um, and be intentional. And one of the things that helped me was having my real estate license. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sarah, let's talk a little bit about your mm -hmm. life. Okay. About my life. About your life, girl. About your life. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about your life. Now, I've heard you tell your story before about. Um, you the way you were raised and you you were basically kind of raised in Jamaica and situations that went on in your life and how you you bounced back and you were resilient uh, until um, not until but that the fact that you overcame so many things and I'd like to ask you tonight would you elaborate a little bit and let the women know and uh, I don't want to tell your story I want you to tell your story that what 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 you went through as a child first of all let's start by how you gave your life to the Lord? How did you come about giving your, your life to the Lord? Well, I think um, the hard gave my life to the Lord was I was a runaway teen. And <laughs> You'd be like running away from home. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I ran away from I ran away from home. My um, parents are in music. Um, my dad was one of the road managers that would travel with Bob Marley. My mom was a female producer, I think the second female producer in Jamaica. And I'm just making sure that this is lining up. And um, so I, my parents divorced when I was six. And then my mom was on drugs, but I wasn't sure. I didn't know that she was on drugs. I just knew that she was, you know, mean and crazy, but I didn't know that she had a drug problem. So eventually um we you know i had to go and live with her and i didn't like her because she was very aggressive and things like that so i tried to just escape her all the time and then she went missing because if you have anybody who you know that's on drugs they're not reliable no they're not today they're up, you know right so they'll they'll just clear stuff out they disappear they come in and out of your life and so she will disappear in and out of my life my dad was working a lot um, um, touring, touring and doing things like that. So, so during, during those, those times, times then, then there's a lot there's of a lot different mullet stations and sexual assaults that, assault that happen. happen. And it's from the from neighbor, neighbor or friends of people and, and things like and that. that. So, when, so I when I was about, I was about 13, 13 <coughs> I wanted to go to this party. And my dad was like, You can't go to the party. And I said, Well, it's not like you're here. Anyway, so I'm going to, I'm going to go. So I just so took matters in my own hand and decided that I was, I was going, going to, to uh, uh, go to the party. party. And in going, to the, the, in going to the party, I almost got gang raped. When I came back, back my, my mom, mom found me at a club, club and I went to live, live, with, live with her. her. When I went when to live with her, her then, then the girl, the girl across, across the street named Tamara kept inviting me to church. But 
I said no. So she kept harassing me, harassing me, harassing me. And eventually I went to church and um, got born again. Okay. And when I got born again, that was kind of crazy because I was a Rastafarian child. So I'm not a devil child. Okay, I'm a demon. So, you know, to most people, I'm just a demon, you know, because people don't understand Rastafarianism. They don't understand that culture. And, you know, at the time, anything that wasn't Christian was sort of spawn of Satan. So, you know, this is kind of the culture you're growing up with. And I um, look back and was grateful I wasn't raised in the church, actually. Really grateful because there's a lot of judgment and criticism, um, separatism, prejudice, prejudice, and things, and things that, that are that actually, are actually present, present that, that, that I, I didn't, didn't get, exposed get exposed to. So, so I, didn't, I didn't, I came in just... In just what what does what, what does God, God have for me? Who is God? God? Um, how, how can I get the unconditional love of God, God in my life? life. Mm-hmm. I, there was I no was conditions, conditions for me. For me. So, so I ended, I ended up, up doing that, doing that and, and um, my, mom my mom ended up, ended up getting, getting uh, uh, she was on crack she was dose when I was about 16 and then I went to the hospital and I told her, listen, me and the children are just going to divorce you in a way. We're just going to separate from you. We're just going to get rid of you because you're not, you're just not, you're not, you're not doing it. I don't know what you're doing. So the 80, that when I ran away from home and I got born again, her name was Mrs. Moore. I went and lived with her for three years while I was doing exams. And um, while I was there, um, I asked her for my mom who was on crack, crack, come and live with us. Okay. Okay. And she, and said, she yeah. said, yeah. Oh, good. No, no I, don't, I don't do that. Do no, that no, no, but I'm, I'm telling, telling you, you, she did she that. Did that. Uh-huh. So, so she took she my mom, mom who was willing to dry out, out, out the hospital, and she dried out, and, dried and, out, and, and um, um, I took her to my pastor. pastor. She gave her she life to the Lord. Gave her life to the Lord. Her life just totally switched around. She came off of crack. She just began to do extremely well. And... About, about maybe 18, 18 months, 19, 19 months, months after that, I was in Bible college at this time. I wanted to just preach the word. word. Went to Bible college and, and they called me up one morning, one morning and, just and just told me that my mom, mom had been stabbed to death. So, so, no, so she's murdered. murdered. Um, um, our, relationship our relationship had just gotten, gotten to the place where, where we, we were able, able to even, even speak cordially about the evidence before. So it was, so it was kind of was very, very traumatic, traumatic for me, for me. And, um, and I went straight, I went straight up to the house. The house. They had they moved had the body, body. They had to identify, identify the body, which was which terrible because, because they had the body, and body. she was stabbed um, um, all over. All over. Um, um, right, right after, after that, that, then, then I, I just, just, just really just had a lot of fear and anxiety to deal with. But then I got married and then moved to Texas. And, and midway, midway through there, um, um, I was assaulted, I was assaulted by a pastor, pastor um, um, with Rohypno, 20 other women. women. As a the last victim, 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 known victim that I know, I know. Way. And, and um, um, had to go through a whole big federal case with that. that um, um, he got, he time, got time. And, and then, then, you know, you just, know had just had to suffer, suffer with the perception and feelings and all of that. But, you know, that's just kind of what it is. So when it comes to sexual assault and abuse, Emotional, emotional, any kind of abuse, abuse emotional, emotional, financial, financial um, any of those, any kind, those kind of abuse, abuse, abuse you learn real quick, quick that it's that always your fault, fault mm-hmm. as a female. Mm-hmm. So, so, you just kind of just, people say, why don't you say something? Why would you say something? If the chips are against you, you can have a young girl who is 14 years old and gets assaulted and you say, well, her body was built built to her, she's too grown. And what she had on, what attracted it to her. Gotcha. You see, you can turn that right around. So, there's different, different things, things like that, but, but through it through all, it I feel all like, like uh, the uh, thing, thing that, that did save me was and still is my relationship with God, with God. Because, because it wasn't, it wasn't borrowed, borrowed, and it wasn't, and it wasn't taught, taught, and it wasn't, and passed, it wasn't passed, passed down. down. This, was, this something was something that, that I had to, to uh, seek, seek after, after, hunt after, after, you know, you know experience, experience God for myself. I couldn't just bar the testimony of somebody else. I ended up having to know God. For myself. for myself and so because, and so because I, know I know it for myself, myself nobody, nobody could take, take that, that from me, from me. There's, no there's no doubt there's no there's no there's no to touch me in who he is to me and who i am to him and who i am him because it's all 100 percent experiential 
You know, you know, not, um, just dictated down to me. I didn't just believe what somebody said about God. I learned about it for myself. You sound as if all sorts of things. You sound as if you, 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 you I, I heard what you say, you, you learned about it for yourself. Um, I heard a man say the other day, he said, without any test, there is no, he said, with no testimony, there are no, no results. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, your testimony shows your results. Okay. I think I got that right. But you, 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 you mentioned several times in there, and we got a lot of women that are listening to you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I and I said to them, put these glasses on. I said so. You have a BA in biblical studies. You um, have a um, with an emphasis on biblical culture. You uh, finish mm -hmm. your master's in Christian education. You got this book, and I always like to teach you about the book Space in Between. Space in Between, and mm -hmm. you, you know you do a, you do a lot. And I'm not even telling half the story now, but I heard you say about different times of molestation and then after you move from where you were born and raised and you become <laughs> you know in ministry you're in ministry and then you're raped by a pastor now we yeah, got women yeah. on this platform this is woman to woman and we're talking now woman to woman and i heard you say that this pastor gets time tell me with the god that you didn't have anybody gift you and because you weren't raised in a church to, to be taught religion and you actually developed a relationship with God out of the purity of, I just need God and I want to know who this God is. What made the difference in your life that going through all of that, your mom um, taken from mm -hmm. you, a broken home, um, now you're in the situation of pastors um, <coughs> belittling and not only that, he, he's displacing trust in you too, but yet you're resilient, yet you're bouncing back. Tell me, how did you forge forward in order to make sure that you stayed with the God that you could have turned easily and pointed your finger and said, all of this stuff is happening in my life, all of this stuff, but I'm looking at the accolades here, things that you've accomplished and you're still standing today, yet strong, because I know you're doing the Imagine uh, Academy. Imagine, I see, yeah, yeah. Now I see the trips you're doing, and then you you just open another business, and outside mm -hmm. and outside of just open, you just refer to the fact that you you're divorced now. You just went through a divorce, mm -hmm. and you just bought a house. Okay, mm -hmm. what? Tell me, what did you do with your relationship? That you're standing so strong when mo most women would fall apart or possibly be in the nut house. Tell us. I, I, I think I two things. things. I think, I think one, one, I had I very good, good people, people in the local, in the local church, church, church mm -hmm. to me. To me. So, so when you have good people, people in the local, local church, 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 you can, you choose, can choose to decide, to decide that everybody, that everybody who, was being, <coughs> um, um, who harmed who you. Harmed you can be the totality, the totality, or you can or remember, remember that they were good people. people. Yeah. So my so youth, my youth pastor, pastor was really good, really good to me. To my me. pastor in Jamaica was really, was really good to me. To me. Um, a lot of the leaders, leaders in that church, church were good, good to me. To me. Um, the um, lady I lived with was good to me. When I lived in South Africa in 1994 as a missionary, as their doing Nelson Mandela's election, I was actually there when he was elected in the crowd. I watched the whole thing. The pastor there were really good to me. So, so I had I a choice to say, okay, say, God, you did this, or I can or say, say, this person this chose to do this, this regardless, regardless of the wound or brokenness, brokenness or craziness that, 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 that was going on in their, their life. life. That's, that's not a God, God issue. issue. That's, that's a human, human issue. issue. Okay. And though and it though hurts, hurts, and though it's painful, at the same time, the trick is, what story will I tell? So will so the story, the story be, be that, that all, all pastors, pastors are horrible, are horrible all, all leaders in the church, church are terrible? Are terrible? Uh, uh, no, no, that can't that be true because in six billion, billion people, people in the world, world and how many churches, churches are around the world, world, world it cannot be that every single, single one, is one is terrible. So my so logic, logic is, is <clears throat> I've experienced with pastors before. And I can't even say the entire time the past was terrible. I can say that that particular aspect was not good. It was not good. But it's not that I didn't learn anything. It's not that I didn't go in anything at all. 
So I'm not so justifying just it at all. all. There's, There's no, no justification, justification for it. For it. But in terms so of what held my mind together, together was remembering was that God had me, that had he had shown me that there were good pastors, that there were people that did seek him, that I was disciple well. That I was trained well. That I was, you know, in in those spaces. So that's one thing. The second thing. Is, is I think, I think that scripture reads really truth. truth. You seek me with all your heart, you will find me. The more, the more that you that find out who God is, the more you find out who you are. Mm-hmm. And when I, I surrender, surrender my pain to Him, I put I a put time limit on it, on it. it. so it doesn't so consume me. me. So no matter, so no matter what, what grieving, grieving, I'm grieving, I found in my own self if I am grieving for hours, and those hours turn into more hours, and then those hours turn into days. But if I'm grieving and I put a time limit on it and say, okay, you're only getting this part of my day, I can fully go to God with all of my complaints. It says, pour your complaints out to him. Well, there's a reason he says that because you won't have some complaints. But what we do is we lie lie that if we complain, then we're questioning God. We're not grateful. You know, we're not being humble. We're shaking our hands at the heavens. But I feel like... If he's, if he's my father, father and he's my friend, friend. I can be I transparent, can be transparent to, him. to him. So I put so a time in it and I go to tell And I tell him, it's, it's not fair, it's not just, it's not right. right. Or Whatever, or I, bring I bring everything to him. So, so I'm not I'm holding, holding on to And then, and then when my timer goes up, then I make sure that I make it back up. So if I took 30 minutes, then I'm going to do an hour in worship. An hour in prayer. An hour in ultimate discipline. Mm-hmm. So that so I that train, train my mind, mind not to not sit to in depression. I train my mind not to sit in negativity. That's good. I train my mind to not look at what I did. But I need my soul needs a space to cry out. Yes. My heart needs to land. But it doesn't need to take me over. So I give it a space. It's like a two-year-old that's running around and needs a playpen. So, so when, when I give I it, give it 30, 30 minutes, I'm giving it a playpen. I see you, I acknowledge you, you you're hurt, hurt you're, you're wounded, wounded, you're angry, angry you're thankful, you're, you're unforgiving, unforgiving, you know, you're, you're ashamed. ashamed. All, these different, All these different things. things. Put you in the playpen. But no, no, I do an I alternate, alternate thing. So my mind goes, we actually like this alternate space better than the depressed space. So that's kind of how I manage my relationship with God. And more, of course, you're going to worship. There's a different brokenness that comes in that. And that comes from your complaining brokenness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it actually, actually builds you up. It strengthens, it strengthens you. So, so I am um, I, I got a relationship, relationship with God, God. God. By understanding that it's an individual, individual relationship with God. God. It is not it's a group not relationship. relationship. So it's not so a negotiation with a group. With a group. So okay. nobody so can manage it or manipulate it. It's that's that's the one thing that you that just cannot it's not it's not up for grabs. Um and, uh, and uh, so, so I find, I find that, that for me, for me I, I've, I've been, been able, able to maintain, maintain that because it's a very transparent relationship. relationship. You, know? you know, you can go you to can God, go and God and say, you know what, God, I'm in lust right, right now. I'm in fear right now. I'm in doubt right now. I'm in anger right now. I'm in resentment. Hold it, Sarah. Hold it, Sarah. Hold it, Sarah. Did you say you can go to God and say you're in lust right now? Lust? Yeah, yeah. You mean like in sexual? I, like I, the space I, in between? I, 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 <laughs> say, hey, 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 you need to send me up with some boo money. money. <laughs> I mean, Lord, I can just go advertise that. Right, I can say, hey, ready to ready be booed up. Get my bills in. I have to go to him and say, listen, if you don't, you don't. Help me get broken open here, huh? Straight up. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Ah, listen. <laughs> yeah, see, I just had to tell it. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. So make sure uh-huh. you give me a brilliant, brilliant idea, idea, some wisdom, wisdom so, so I can. I can, I can just hold my own. own. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Now, you know, I tell Lord, Lord, I mean, I'm like, I say I'm very transparent. I'd be like, Lord, I'm not getting married again. I'm just going to live with somebody out in New York. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know, you you know, you and I have had talks. I'm just I'm telling, telling you about you my relationship with God. I, I understand. But, but no, no. I'm I'm saying, listen, oh, no, no condemnation here. No condemnation here. Listen, no con- <laughs> no condemnation here. You remember what I said to you. I, I told you about the number three. Okay. So you know, no condemnation here. But listen, this is this is woman to woman, okay? And we said it would be raw and unedited. So I, I heard you say. You don't want to be married again, and you talked about your divorce. Let's talk a little bit about your divorce, uh, because you you were a pastor, a co-pastor at one time, 
and you, you mm -hmm. had a very successful work, very, very successful work. And like I, I told them when we first started, <coughs> uh, this is not a woman to be played with. Seriously, she's brilliant. She's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you put her in the ashes, she's rising from it. You put her in the valley, she's going to build a development in the valley. You put her, look, in the desert, they're going to be waters in the desert, okay? Because that's Sarah. That's what Sarah does. But Sarah, you, you survived the divorce. And like I said, you, you started uh, uh, Imagine Academy. You're traveling, you're preaching, mm -hmm. and you have this new business that you just opened. I mean, your hands are in so many t things. You coach and you bought a home and you, let the women know how you survived that, that in your life. And to be honest with you, it, you didn't fight. I mean, cause you, you could have turned around and just really slug some things out, you know, but you kept your integrity and you, 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 you rose. I mean, you just, you, the fire's still burning. You, you, you know, we laugh, we tease, we talk, we go eat crab together when you come this way. And we just have a really, really, what, what? You left me last time, though, but I'm going to let that go. I did okay. crabs yesterday. Oh, yes, no, you yes, did. Day before. Day before. Day before. Okay, Saturday. day before. All right. Listen, so share with the women so, okay. how, so, how you bounce back. So let me just say this. Nobody ever gets, gets married to get divorced. It's not necessarily mm -mm. on your vision board or your dream board, mm -mm. right? Right. So, so, so let's just let's just, let's just put, put that out there. there. Um, let's um, say it was a hard, a hard choice, choice um, and a hard decision, decision for me to, to have made. Me. Um, um, when you're talking, you're talking about, about, about how do you how get you through get it? it? Um, um, I, think I think that it was several things I had to learn. The scripture that really helped me down. I'm still I quote it every single day. Mm -hmm. is Nehemiah, Nehemiah 519. 519. Remember, Remember me, O Lord, Lord, with faith for, for all I have done for your people. people. Oh, wow. Remember, Remember me, me with faith for, for what I've done for your people. people. Um, so and that's so one that's thing, one is, is always, always understanding that what you've sown in the kingdom will always have a harvest and a reward. Yes, yes. that's true. I am proud of that I have done there. It is still standing. And and because I did not, even though what I had chosen to do impacted it, I did not, I did not destroy, destroy it. it. Uh huh. And I could and have I destroyed, destroyed it. it. Just, yeah. like Just like anybody can do anything. anything. <laughs> but what but is what the point in doing that? There's no there's point no in no being point. destructive. Mm -hmm. That's, a, That's third a third child for me. For me. So, so you, you want, want your child, child to live, you want your child to blossom, you want your child to grow, whether you're there or not there. And I'm able to see the imprint of all the work and vision. And structure, and structure, and order, order management, management um, expansion, expansion scaling, scaling, leadership, leadership all, all of those things, things I'm able, able to see. And that's that kind of kind one of the things that helped me to get through that. that was Miles Monroe. Monroe. Miles Monroe always says, you know, vision is not a vision unless you can really leave it. Come on. If it, Come on. If it, after you're after gone, gone, if it was not a well done vision. So, you know, I would just say that. You know, you know, it's in it's, it's in, in good, good hands, hands. So, so it's fine. It's fine. But, for but for me personally, personally I had to I learn that there were different, different grieving things mm -hmm. that were going that to take place. place. That you that don't you just grieve, grieve the relationship, relationship. You, you grieve, grieve the, routine. the routine. Yes. <clears throat> you can you grieve can the routine of a thing. You can grieve the routine of driving to your house automatically, but you don't live there anymore. You can grieve patterns and habits. And, and, you know, you know different, different things, things like that. that. So, so the finding out that, that a lot of times, uh, uh, women are the ones, ones that file uh, uh, divorces most most men. men. Over 78% are filed out of men. There's a There's lot a to lot say for that, that. Especially, especially when they're, they're long term. term. So a lot of so times people kind of look and say, oh, you should have worked on it. Oh, you should have done this. Oh, you should have done that. But the high percentage of that, that says something. Women are not necessarily being given proper... I would say, I would say counseling, counseling care, care um, um, guidance, guidance, you know, you because know, sometimes, sometimes here, here's, here's one of the things running with me. I mean, we talk from women to women. You can be a pastor, pastor. you can you be can a, a teacher, teacher and evangelist. And evangelist. Any of the five gifts, gifts, gifts is what is they are. You may not be a marriage expert because that's not what you studied. You studied the Bible. Right, 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 absolutely. you business expert. Mm -hmm. Because you studied the, the, the mm -hmm. and a lot of times we pastor all in all. all, in all. 
they're not they're an not expert in every single yes. thing. No, no. So sometimes, sometimes you have to lean into, into other resources, resources to yes. make the body whole mm -hmm. and bring and in people, people who are, are um, best, best at those areas. Yeah, what the, yeah. yes, I agree. No, because sometimes you can just put a blanket thing over it, but you can't always just blanket something. For example, in my particular history, there's sexual assault. So if you have out in my particular history, and you're just going to give me a confession to confess my way out, you disregard and the pain and the woundedness and the actual tangible trauma imprint on the brain. Yes, that's true. Right, so right. there is, there is a, a physical imprint in your brain from that trauma. Mm -hmm. And if I mean, I just given you a confession and saying I'm renewing the mind, but the mind and the brain are not the same. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to renew the brain and you renew the mind. Yes. But a lot of as, as leadership, sometimes we, we do not give credit enough to the renewal, the retraining of the brain because we don't really know about it. We just really know about your mind. So I. I, I when you're when getting, getting through things, things then, then you, you, you listen, listen and you and surrender, surrender and you hear and you, hear, and you take and you absolute spiritual content and your spiritual context. context. You, you also take in therapy, therapy and, and other, other methods, methods of um, um, that, that are trained or, or, or special in that. that. When I went when to I my counselor, um, um, he said, in 30 years, I was one of the most traumatized brains you'd ever seen. Oh. Okay. And, and, and he said, said, but there's but something, something, there's a glow around, around your brain. brain. What, what is that? that? He said, how he said, do you hold your brain together? together? And that's said, our relationship with God. God. He, he said, teach that, that to me. me. And he said, teach he said, that to everybody else. else. He, he said, this is amazing that your brain, you should have lost your mind a long time ago with the trauma patterns in your brain. So how do you get through it? One, you do not go to the base. Of what of you what could be. You don't go you to don't the go worst, to worst of yourself. yourself. Right. And I agree with that. Yeah, you don't yeah, go you to the worst of yourself. yourself. Even, Even if people push you and prime you and stuff, the things you have to be, you have to, you have to look have to at yourself, yourself and be content. content. And in the whole process, process, yeah, there's some, some, some attitudes and some ways and some things I had that I wasn't proud of myself. I mean, I could have done a better job, honestly. And there's some ways I've done a worse job, too. You know? We talked about that. We're going to leave that alone. And everybody traumatized, you know. I'm not uh -huh. hardening it. I'm possibility. I've, I've done the work, but in terms of getting through it, is understanding that one, you never really start to get to this place. Two, it is not the ending place. Um, three, as long as you are just really surrendering, still everything to God. Because I have prayed and everything, and so. Um, you know, God will still, still find a way. You have to, you be, have open to be open to wisdom. wisdom. I think the things that block your faith is resentment and anger, frustration. All those all things really hinder your, your faith because you can't see beyond that frustration. Right, you can't right. See beyond. right. That's not that some ideas, ideas because, because I've just, just said, God, I am, you know, I am struggling today. God, you know, I am frustrated today. God, it's not fair. So you're real. You're just real with God. Yeah, yeah, always real. So, so you get you through get it. Through it. I have a real relationship. relationship. You get mm -hmm. through it. Guys, your faith. faith. And remember and that your faith is, is <laughs> your faith is not a Christian thing. You know. No, no, it's not. Faith, faith. faith. whether it's whether in a Christian, Christian space, space or, or, not. or not. Right. What do I mean? If you, if you believe the negative, the negative happens. Yes, it does. Just because you use the word faith, I mean that it automatically goes into the positive. Mm -hmm. the, more the more that you read the story, story, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know what's next, next. you know, I'm worried I'm about this, I'm worried about that, about that. then you are now causing that to cycle into your life, life. Versus, versus trusting, trusting God, God knowing that he can bring you through any situation and anything at any time. time. So that's, so that's how, how I've, I've done, done it. Okay, okay. All right. Thanks for that. Now, like I said, this is the platform Woman to Woman, and we're getting ready to close. So with that said and done, what's next for Sarah? Out of all Sarah's been through, from, you know, coming up as a child, uh, seeing drug addiction, molestation, losing her mother, the way she lost her mom. But the good thing about it, her, she saw her mom receive the Lord and then yes. moving. Yes, that's a good thing about it. Moving, uh, situation with a past and then divorce and then have to walk away from something that you had built. But now you're building other things. And from what I know about you, how resilient you are, 
and how you like to soar on high heights. Tell us a little bit about what's going on now and what's next for Sarah. I think I right think now right is, is um, um, God has just given me a very direct, direct word to, 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 to um, <coughs> diverse God. God. Mm -hmm. purpose. purpose. And, and whereas, whereas I, remember, I remember, you know, you know um, he, reminded he reminded me, you know, you know the first place you preached, preached were the banana, the banana grove, grove at Bible, Bible school. school. Uh -huh. you, pre you, pre you preached the banana, banana trees, trees, not people. Not people. Mm -hmm. so, so ever since, I just made sure that I, I still, still wrote, wrote a sermon, a sermon every, every Sunday. Sunday. And write and a write sermon every Sunday. Sunday. You tell me that. And so he, yeah. 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 And he and said, he said, you know, make, make your own platform. Your own platform. Mm -hmm. because, because see, there were people that were calling other people, people to get me to canceled get me from, from preaching whenever they would see me advertise on the platform. platform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the person, the person I mean, I'm like, like, why don't you just do what you do and just leave me alone? You know, I'm the primary custodian for my child. Why would you try and hinder my financial opportunities? You know, you know, either, either way, way, God sees, God all, sees all those things. things. So, he's so he's looking, looking for, consistency. for consistency. And, and so, so what I did was, when I prayed about it, he said to diversify. diversify. And, and realized realize that, that I needed to, to um, create a space, space where women would know, would know that their that purpose could be profitable and they didn't have to be separated. So I had a heart for women that were doing stuff like me, women to be transition. Yes. You're transitioning, you're transitioning financially, you're transitioning from a bad relationship, you're transitioning from an assault, you're transitioning from a murder in your family, you're transitioning just tough that you just didn't know your way. Yes. How were you going to go to the next step? And I began to just design curriculum and mentorship and things um, to put into place to help people do the shortcut versus taking 30 years like me to learn a lesson. Why not learn it in five hours? Why not learn it in two? Okay. You know, so I began to say, Lord, what was in my hand that I could use? The revelation you gave me was in Exodus 4. And he had just said, you know, in Moses, what's in your hand? Yeah, what's in your hand? And he told me, and he said, follow the stick, Sarah. And the stick had defeated Amalekites. The sticks had you know, you cause know, the plagues to come. The stick the had, had hit the rock, rock, rock and water, water came out. The stick had opened the sea. The and he said and that said stick that was ordinary. Was ordinary. Nothing, Nothing exciting, exciting to look to upon. upon. But when but it was when diversified, it diversified and rebranded and, re and used in different, different spaces, spaces. Absolutely. I supported this. Absolutely. So, so what, is what is normal to you? To you? I'm, I'm with you. You don't have to come find me. I'm already there. Don't, 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 don't keep, keep seeking and chasing. chasing. Bridge, Bridge that, that gap and understand I'm already here. here. If you if move, you, I'm right there with you. And so and I just, just began to take courage and confidence in that. In that. that if that God has an issue, issue, he'll let me know. Yes. Until, Until then, I'm not going to wait. wait. I'm not going to play this waiting game. Oh, wait on God, I'm not waiting. If he wants it, he'll tell me But I found out that I need to live from a permission standpoint in God and not a lack of permission in him. A lack of permission to wait until next year, next year, next year. I don't hear clearly. Well, you know what? The wisdom, the wisdom of God, of God is inside, inside of you. Inside the mind of God is inside of you. By this, By this stage, stage, you should be able to make, make, some, make some decisions. decisions. Absolutely. I agree with that. You, you, you need, need to rise up and do something. God loves you enough to tell you no. Uh, yes, you he does. you don't have to for five million years trying to wait for a yes. Just go on. And that's what he showed me. He said, listen. And granted. You know, and so now I want to do, like I said, Miles Monroe's a die Okay. You know, okay. you know, work, work. Don't, don't work. I don't have I don't no shame that way. Now. Now. I'm not I'm afraid of failure. failure. I'm not afraid I'm of embarrassment. You know, things don't really shame me and bother me. So, so I, would just, I would just, what's next, what's for, what's next for me is to continue coaching, coaching continue training, and helping people, people women, women, especially, especially to create passive income. Because one of the things older women told me, I should say, old people, older women told me, was have your own money. That's true. I believe in that. I believe in that. Yeah, in your own I, money. I, and I should have. So mm -hmm. now, no, I'm making I'm sure. sure. <laughs> you have your own money. You have your own money. Listen, listen. <clears throat> now I've I've seen some I've seen some of these amounts. I, 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 I never had my own money. Ever. Uh huh. Really? I gave all that. Uh huh. I know but you never had your own. Nope. Nope. Uh, Not until I was. 49, 49 years, old. years old. Lord Jesus. 
Well, that's the story for another day. So we <laughs> another time. But but listen, take a few minutes before we close and talk to the women about the passive income that I've seen you post lately and how they can get in, in contact with you and um, about your courses and the things that you yeah, do. Yeah. So the crazy, so crazy thing, thing is this. Is this. You know, you know, I love Pastor um, V because, because she's a she's business, a business woman, 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 right? right? And, and she's she just, just straight, straight up. up. And I love and that, I love that she was one of the first, first women people, women people, people, women, people, women, people, women, women, women pastors I saw that, that had, had um, an effective and business, not just not talking about the business, but actually had one. You too much. You too much. I'm saying she had a real business. Now you coming around at the end. You coming around at the end. Okay. I, you can't calculate this lady. She, she may make she you may play with her for a second, second, but she knows. She knows. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> so I love that a business, business. And I love, I love the scene that, that because, because, I really because I really always felt, felt that, that there's so many women examples, examples in the Bible of women doing women great and amazing, amazing things, things, whether it was yeah. being a judge, the, the, the daughters of Zillah, right? right? And they changed real estate for living. You know, there's so that the dynamic things. And it doesn't mean that you have to dominate someone to be in dominion. No, you don't. In your spheres. But we have the calling to walk in dominion. But we don't have to bully anybody, emasculate any men. We have to tear people down. We have to do all of them. You can be authentic in who you are or live the maximized life that God has for you. But I think that what I did was in coaching and preaching and teaching, and then God began to drop in my heart digital products. Okay. And I said, why? All of the All different, of the different experiences, experiences you have, you need to you be need able to, to create, create products to save people time, time, save people save energy, energy, research. research. Um, um, the lesson, you can take, you can your, take your purpose, purpose and, begin and begin to help to people, people along, along the way. way. It would be it so, would much so much easier if I wrote, if I wrote a book. A book. On ten, on 10 ways to craft, to craft a, sermon a sermon and give mm -hmm. you a, a, a really creative, creative way than you to go to four years of seminary. seminary. I've been doing this for 30 years. years. That would be that easier, easier for you to you buy that for 60, 60 bucks, bucks than go spend $2,000 in seminary, seminary, right? right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. He began to show me that people had, same thing back to the stick, that people had things in their hand, normal and ordinary, that they could use mm -hmm. to help they develop the gift to other people, give them time. So as he began dropping it, dropping it to my spirit, I didn't do nothing didn't with it the first time. This was around August, August last year. year. I just was I just like researching, researching, but I didn't really do nothing. But then but January 19th, I, I, you know, I know, bought the sixth or so. I bought, I bought a course. I bought like five courses, but I bought a course. I'm going through the course, going through the course. And within less than 60 days, I made like $50,000. What? Oh, you got my attention. You got my attention. What? 48.7, you know, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you. So yeah, so I ended up um, being able to to create my own course. <clears throat> let me see. Let me see because this is very get it right. Uh-huh. Can you see? Uh -huh. Proof in the pudding. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, That's money. Uh, can I? Can I get? Can I get? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I get a uh, 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 offering? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So, so that's, that's just taking what you know. Yes. And then um, um, realize that, that the course was so, so I mean, good for me in terms of teaching me how to do it, how to yes. save time, how to. No, it was just a quick how to. Then they realized that the course you could actually resell the course. So what I did was I started reselling the course and creating my own courses. So I have some stuff coming out um, that I am. Setting up setting a video tape, um, um, you know, I have a whole speaker course coming out. Um, um, I have one on faith-based faith -based manifestation that's going to come out as well. And just a lot of different things. So you kind of make you really creative to kind of launch what you want. So I sell the course that helps me because I, I figure a couple of hundred dollars, thousands of dollars to help you get a plan or get a way to do something. Yeah. It's easier than hours and hours and hours. And Believing, believing in that, in that. And, and it and began to really help me because I had like, I was trying to do it to get out of my attorney debt, and uh -huh. um, my dad had quadruple bypass surgery two years ago, 
um, me and my ex-husband at the time, we were the ones that had to come up with $15,000 instantaneously to, you know, to get him into the hospital. You know what I mean? So you realize that people are prepared to die, but they're not prepared to live sick. There's no gap, gap fund that you have if your parent gets sick. No, no. Absolutely. So my so daughter doesn't have a gap fund if I get sick. And I don't have a fund for her if I get sick. Mm -hmm. So I start to realize that I have a gap. If I die, she's good. Mm -hmm. My son is good. But not again. What if I have the ninja What if, you know, what if I, 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 I fall and I hurt myself and I can't mm -hmm. earn? There's no fund to take care of me. No. So it began to become very real to me that on the timeline of my life, if 72 or 75 is a quote unquote normal way, of, of you know your lifespan, life you're gonna die. Really die. Then I'm gonna die like 20 like years, years from now. From that. Mm -hmm. Well, then it becomes then very real. All the other years are gone. gone. But yes, how many of you went healthy, healthy fully, fully in your body? In your body. I'm, I'm believing for the best, but I have yes. to plan for the worst. Mm -hmm. and I, yeah, well, I, I understand what you're saying, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna mind. live beyond that. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Uh -huh. I mean, in my family, they lived up to 103, 105. So yeah. I'm believing that. But it became uh -huh. real to me. Like, you know what? You know what? Let me put Let myself on a 10 year acceleration plan. That's good. So that, yeah. yeah. So you know, so you, know just, you put a timeline on it and you just begin and to get aggressive. So you can find me on Instagram at I am Sarah, S A R E. Slow down, Sarah. Slow down. The people need to get this. I am. I am S A R E. C-O. <laughs> Sarah is the C-O. I am S-A-R-A-C-O. Or you can text me at 469-262-5555. Four four six six four 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 and that's 469-278-4828. And I'll just say this, Verna. You know what? In, in all of the things that come to your way, it's coming for your heart, right? Mm -hmm. It's coming for your heart. What do I mean by your heart? It's, it's coming, coming for, for you to you alter who you are. Who you are. Mm -hmm. The minute you get really, really bitter and, and angry and that thing takes root, root it's, it's going to impact you. Yes. You, can you can be, be upset, upset about, about it. Says. You can be angry and sin now. But sin now. You can be hurt. Mm -hmm. But when, but you, when you really know, really sit down, down and deliberately really try, try to harm the other person or harm no. the institution or harm the environment, they know you're crossing over. You can you be nice. Find, find your group of friends, friends that you can vent to. Yeah. Find your good solid people that you can say, you know, you can just be upset, be upset with, with, you know, but, you know, but I, think I think that that's, that's the thing, the thing that, that has helped me is, is even, you know, you know um, um, all the all upset, upset and anger and stuff, I can I still, still look at, at the work I've done and value it. Yes, good. I can still look at the relationship I had and respect it. I can still... Respect, respect a lot of great things about my ex-husband. I can I look, look at, at you know, you know at my, my situation in Jamaica and all these different things and realize that even on the timeline of my life and all of these bad things were happening, God was sending good people too. That's good. That's good. God was sending good along the way. So I can get stuck in the twilight zone of negativity and the bad. Right. Or I can see too along that way he was bringing encouragement and people. And if you change your perspective, your heart was So through it all, you had hope. Yeah, yeah, because, because you realize that, that, you know, people have a will and they choose to do things too. I have a will and I choose to always make the right decision. decision. But, but I can tell you, I'll always have a repent and heart, come back to God and say, okay, whoa, start me again. Oh, Jesus, start me again. You know, it's, it's, it's me. All right. All right. All right. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me on here. Yeah, Thank you so Hopefully you guys were very encouraged. Um, and no matter what you're going through in life, you know, find your good friends, find your good um, examples and people, and hurt is going to happen. You know, the evidence that you love is that you can get hurt. Yes. The evidence that you love. But you don't have to be the agent of clap back if you don't, if it's not necessary. Sometimes you can just really, sometimes there's strength in silence, and sometimes there's not. Right? Right. You just have to be discerning about it. But I think overall, if you'll just um, aim to make sure your heart stays soft before God, I think it will be okay. I get I get frustrated. I'm not, you know, certain things. I miss my women's ministry. And then I just decide to start another one. And then I'm working with a project manager right now. Because uh -huh. I'm creating the system. A women's a ministry was incredible. incredible. And I was like, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make that baby multiply. There you go. So I'm, I'm in the process 
of making such a project's management schedule that any person can use the exact same thing and do it in a trajectory format. I'm doing the same thing because I had a 78 to 83 percent retention rate in my children's ministry. That was my format that God gave me. So I'm going to project manage that out and make it available. That's how I can duplicate. Or I can be bitter about it, or I can give. Or you can move on and. And do better, and that you can keep your heart a little bit more in faith instead of being stingy with it. Be generous, and God will be more to you. Amen. I agree with that. Find on the ground, find her on the ground. Thank you so much, Sarah. I love you. You know, I do. I love God bless. I hate that I'm not as you know. Well, well but don't worry about listen, don't worry about it. Uh, look, but we did I, I'm enthused with the black hair. I know, right? I feel I feel yes. like I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, why, know like, Sarah. You like you up you, you look you look like you're up to something. Oh yeah, just wait till I feel better and you're gonna see what I want. <laughs> I don't wanna see you on the back of a Harley. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, you know yeah, that's yeah. my that's my vibe right here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm just gonna confess I'm troublesome. I am troublesome. We know that. We 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 know that. We we know that. Call Nicole. I'm out. God bless you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> well, ladies, that's our program. That's it for woman to woman. Listen, stay tuned. Look for our next uh, up and coming. Um, what do I say here? Next platform or the next person that we have, a next guest on Woman to Woman. And with that said and done from Pastor DuPont, Apostle DuPont, Prophetess DuPont, I love you. God bless you. And remember, you can rise through adversity. God bless. Bye.